What's up guys? My name is Mike and welcome back to Test Dummies TV. Today we're going to teach you part one of developing color film. First off, you're going to need a sous vide machine if you want to make it easy on yourself. If not, you can just use a sink or bath water with a thermometer. Um, then you're obviously going to need a bucket of some sort to hold the water. Um, you're going to need some beakers, a funnel, a mixer and these special collapsible uh, one liter containers, which the chemicals will go in. And what's nice about these is they collapse so the chemicals don't oxidize um, quickly. And lastly, we'll need the developer, blicks, and the stabilizer, which comes in this box, and they are $26 total. So you can get a lot of this stuff from your local film store uh, or online. Uh, we'll provide a link in the description below, so click that, check it out if you're interested. Um, maybe not the sous vide machine, I might have to buy it separately, but pretty much everything. So the kit we're using today is called the Cinestill CS41 Color Negative Chemistry. Basically, this box comes with all of the chemicals. They're labeled and also color-coded. The developer is labeled in red and comes with three bottles labeled ABC. The Blix is labeled in blue and also comes with three bottles ABC. And the stabilizer is labeled in gray and just comes with one bottle. Today, we're going to be making one quart of each chemical. So for our first step, we're going to mix our developer chemicals. We're going to heat up our water to 120 degrees Fahrenheit and we're going to put 20 ounces of that water into one of the beakers. So we're going to start with developer bottle A. The instructions don't have mixing times, we suggest about 20 to 30 seconds. So you're gonna pour that in and mix. After that, you're gonna do the same process for part B and C. Finally, you're gonna pour your mixed developer into the marked bottle. So for our next step, we're gonna mix the Blix. It's basically a similar process to the developer, except we'll only need to use 18 ounces of water, and we're also gonna increase our temperature to 125 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, I should have mentioned this in the beginning, but these chemicals are pretty toxic, especially the Blix, so please wear gloves. I know I'm not. Do as I say, not as I do. I'll suffer the consequences of some crusty, gross hands, but you shouldn't. Now with the Blix, we're gonna mix in our bottles A, B, and C, similar to the developer step. And after we do that, we're gonna pour the mixture into our labeled container. Now for the final chemical, the stabilizer, we're actually going to use 30 ounces of water and it's gonna be room temperature, it's very important. And it's gonna be the same step as developer and Blix, except we only have one bottle to mix. And after you're done with that, we're gonna pour it into our mark container and you're good to go. All right, guys, it's easy as that. Thanks for sticking around for part one. Stay tuned for next week and part two, where we actually develop the film. If you like this video, click like and subscribe below. Please, please, please. Or he's gonna drink the Blix. I don't fucking drink it, I don't fucking drink it. Okay, bye. <laughs>